What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan and today we're gonna to be spending a little bit more time making this garage even better. So if you wanna see how that goes, stick around. Last time we were in the garage, we put these lights on the ceiling, which I'm super, super happy with. They're really modern and they give an amazing amount of light, especially to work on these cars here. Uh, but today we're gonna be painting the walls. We're gonna do light gray on the top, dark gray on the bottom, and a nice strip of navy blue in the middle. First things first, I'm gonna go over everything that we bought today to try and get this done. So our colors are Cathedral Stone and Rugged Suede. This is gonna be the top color, this is gonna be the bottom color, and then we're gonna use this navy blue as the, the stripe in the middle. I've done yellow in the past as, uh, for the stripe and really liked it. Uh, I've never done navy, so we'll see how it turns out. I got a small roller and pan for the stripe. I got some paintable caulk, as well as some uh, tape that we can use to make really nice clean lines for the stripe in the middle. I got this edge painter for the ceiling, and I've actually never really used one of these before, but it was only like four bucks, so we're gonna see how it works. I got some plastic to help protect the floor and anything else that I need to cover, an extra paintbrush, two rollers, a pan, some extra plastic pans, and last, I got an extender for the roller. I don't wanna be on a ladder all day, so this is gonna help my back a little bit. So next, we're just gonna take a couple minutes to move everything out of the garage and take all of the items that are on the perimeter of the garage and bring them in the middle, that way we have space to work on the walls. But yeah, let's hop in the cars and start doing it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the top part, the light gray. Second, we're gonna paint the, the bottom of the dark gray. And then last, we're gonna do the stripe. But the first step to all of this is taping around the door and also taping some other miscellaneous areas and taping up at the ceiling. And then after that, we just paint the light gray all the way down to that light switch or, or so, and then go from there. Taping is super boring. I decided not to film all of it, but I'm gonna show you what I just did. So I taped around everything that I didn't wanna to get touched with paint. I also taped around some outlets because I couldn't get this one out. Uh, I took out some outlets and taped around them. I also put some plastic down. And uh, besides framing everything else with tape, I put a very tentative line where the midpoint is gonna be, where that, that's kind of where the colored stripe is gonna be. So basically, I just need to paint from there down to there. And that way, I'm not painting too much and it can be kind of accurate for the time being. And before we get painting, I have a little tip and trick to show you how to get really nice crisp lines at the top of your tape line. So I have this paintable caulk here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, put a really tiny bead of caulking at the crease of the tape right there. And then we're gonna use our finger and we're gonna spread out that little bead and that's gonna create a nice seal right there. And then we're gonna paint all of the wall at the top. And then while the caulking is still wet, we're gonna remove the tape and that's gonna give us a really nice line at the top of the ceiling. It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. All right, so here we go. 
So I got flat paint for this because flat paint at the top of the wall is gonna be a good idea so that we don't get any reflections from the lights. So paint up top is gonna to be flat. Paint on the bottom is going to be satin or even glossy because you can clean glossy paint. You can't clean flat paint very well. There's no denying what we want. There's no denying what we want. Playing games, no. There's no denying what we want. There's no denying what we want. Playing games, no. Next, I have this edge finisher. You just put paint on it and uh, go up in the top. And I've never used one of these before, but we'll see if it works well or not. actually is pretty impressive. I mean, it's good for some things, but I'm still gonna have to use a paintbrush. So definitely helpful, but I'm not sure it's the end all solution. All right, so per the instructions, we're supposed to remove the tape along the edges that um, we use caulking on while it's still wet. That way you get that nice clean edge. And I'd say that's pretty good. You know, painting is pretty boring and it takes a long time. So let's, and there we are, it's the next day. So I worked into the wee hours of the morning painting the garage and it was just way too late to finish filming and do all the taping for the, the stripe and everything. So we're gonna do that now. And I've noticed that most garages slant downward down the driveway. So if you wanna make a perfectly level line across the, the wall, you need to use a laser guided leveling system and get yourself one of these guys. It's like $35 and you turn it on and it puts a laser on the wall and that way it's self leveling too. And this is gonna give you a really perfect line all the way around. All you'll need to do is find a common place to put it. And then as you go around the garage, you can just rotate it and you're gonna have a perfectly straight and level line all the way across. Then we can start taping our line and get to painting. figure out where the top of the stripe is gonna go. So I think the easiest way to do that is to measure from the um, frame screw to the bottom of the stripe, which is two and a quarter inches. So basically we need to go two and a quarter inches above the switch. And so basically cumulative two and a quarter plus four inches of the actual switch plus two and a quarter is eight and a half inches. So basically we need to raise up our laser by eight and a half inches and then do the whole thing over again. This so is just to show you guys how simple you can really make this. I just got a paint jug and a couple pieces of tile and that raises up our laser by eight and a half inches and we are good to start laying the rest of the tape. The stripe is looking really, really good and I'm happy with the size and placement. But before we start painting, I'm gonna use some clear caulking, not white caulking, but clear caulking to help seal up this edge here. Um, because if I used white caulk like I did in the ceiling, it would leave a little white line at the top, kind of like I have at the ceiling. But if I want to have a clear and really nice transition on this textured wall, I'm gonna have to use this stuff with my finger and put it in the crack, and then we'll start painting. So I'm gonna get to that. I'm not gonna film it, but then uh, just so you know, this is what I'm using. All right, so I just put caulking on this wall only. So I'm gonna do the caulking, then paint, and then the next wall caulking, then paint, then next wall caulking, and then paint. Uh, so first strip of blue, let's see how it goes. All 
right, guys, moment of truth. See if we've done a good job. You want to make sure when you pull the tape, you're pulling it at an angle away from the crease. If you pull it out straight like this, you can risk pulling paint off the wall. So make sure to pull it at an angle, and it looks like we have a home run, my friends. I'm gonna keep taking off the tape. I'm gonna put all the outlet covers back on. I'm gonna clean up the garage and get it all set up and show you the finished product. see the garage turned out really really great and I am super stoked with the final result. Uh, it just takes a little bit of planning, a lighter color on the top, a darker color on the bottom, and then whatever accent color you want in the middle. Remember to buy your clear and your white caulk for the clean lines on the top and as well as the clean lines of the stripe. Uh, but overall if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below and I'll see if I can help out. Otherwise if you like the video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Just give me a few minutes. We're gonna push the cars out into the, we're not gonna push them. We are going to drive them.